Look at that steal. Pops the ball loose. And it's Kyle Lowry again, and he will lay it in. Before Kyle Lowry became the Toronto Raptors' all-time leader in triple-doubles, an Olympic gold medalist, and a three-time NBA All-Star. Bogdanovich loses the ball. Watch Look out. out. Lowry, the high effort, angles in for the bucket. Before signing a $48 million contract with the Toronto Raptors, bringing his net worth to an estimated $38 million. You, you expect that the team is going to offer him whatever they can off from the keeping. Before giving President Trump a piece of his mind. Any words on, any comment on the travel ban in the United States? Um, I think it's bull****. Before clashing with Houston Rockets head coach Kevin McHale, marrying his wife Ayanna Cornish, or becoming best buds with DeMar DeRozan. You, what time you want to sleep though? Probably about five, six. All right, uh, Just I'm going to FaceTime you. <laughs> but you got to do interviews, where you go? Nah, I'm done <laughs> Kyle Lowry grew up in North Philadelphia, raised mainly by his mom and grandma. His father was never around and his neighborhood was dangerous, but Kyle found refuge in basketball. He was a skilled player from a young age, but he was no LeBron James. Picked 24th overall in the draft, Kyle was no all-star when he first made it to the NBA. It would take nearly a decade for him to be considered amongst the best in the league. People are calling your Game 4 effort one of the greatest performances in Raptors playoff history. What do you think when you hear that? Oh man, it's it's kind of humbling. Hey, the kid ain't doing too bad now. Don't leave us here in Toronto. We need you. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Kyle Lowry prior to fame. Here for you all before they're famous. We recently covered his buddy and fellow Raptor, DeMar DeRozan, and well, we've done a ton of other NBA players as well, like LeBron James. LeBron James. Be sure to check out those videos and let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Also, big shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Without that, we just couldn't do it all, you know. Kyle grew up right up the street, and um, you know, we just want people to know that you know he hasn't forgotten where he came from. Kyle Lowry was born on March 25th, 1986 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He grew up in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods of North Philly and according to his biography by Clayton Jeffrey at the time, it was not uncommon to see people dying on the street. Yeesh. You're Philly tough. You've already shown that. So finish this sentence. In West Philadelphia, <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> With his parents separated, Kyle and his big brother Lonnie Jr. were raised primarily by his mother, Marie Holloway, and her mother, Kyle's grandmother. Mary worked two jobs and a lot of overtime to provide for her sons. Their father, Lonnie Lowry Sr., was out of the picture for most of Kyle's life, and even though he lived just 10 minutes away, the dude was a no-show. One day when Kyle was about 12 years old, his dad promised him that they would spend the day together. Then Kyle checked outside for his father, and, uh, well, he waited and waited and waited. And that man who lived 10 minutes away, he didn't show up, sorry. <clears throat> Let's move on. His mother stated that was the day I knew he just gave up on his dad. But Kyle saw it differently. Honestly, that was so long ago, I probably gave up on my dad when I was born. But Kyle had a positive male role model in his big brother, Lonnie Jr., who was five years his senior. The two grew up especially close, and it was actually Lonnie's love of basketball that inspired Kyle to fall in love with the game. Kyle was, from a young age, a talented athlete in all kinds of sports. His mom bought him sporting goods rather than toys, and the first sport he would excel at was baseball. He also tried football for a while, but Kyle's big brother encouraged him to play basketball. He would even have Kyle practice dribbling with his offhand and play pickup games with the older boys. Soon Kyle was hooked and would play the game before and after school. In the winters, he would go out with friends looking for an indoor basketball court that would be open for them to play it. Kyle's dedication to the sport attracted the attention of one of his youth league coaches, Dave Distel. Dave convinced Kyle to join him at Cardinal Daughtry High School where he was an assistant coach. Kyle played point guard there and developed into an outstanding player. He was named the 2004 Pennsylvania High School Player of the Year and averaged 19 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists and 5 steals per game as a senior. <laughs> By the way, it was in high school that Kyle met Ayanna Cornish. She played basketball herself and would go on to play for St. Joseph's. She and Kyle would eventually go on to get married and had their first son Carter in 2011, but we're not there yet. A number of colleges showed interest in Kyle, but he had a tough time with the recruitment process. At one point, Xavier emerged as his top choice of school, but before he could make an official recruiting trip, he got a call from their head coach, Thad Matta. Thad told Kyle that he would save a spot for him on the team, but only if he could commit right there and then. 
Kyle refused telling Dave Distel who helped him with the process. If they can't wait for me to come down for my official visit, they don't really want me. This situation would basically repeat itself with schools like North Carolina, Connecticut, Kansas and Syracuse, all of which filled their rosters before Kyle could make a visit. Eventually, after some resistance to the idea of playing for the suburban schools, Kyle agreed to play for Villanova. In his freshman season, Kyle was named to the Big East All Rookie Team. He played in 24 games, starting in three and averaging 7.5 points, 3.2 rebounds, 2.0 assists, and 1.3 steals per game. The next year, he started in 31 of 33 games and averaged 11 points, 4.3 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 2.3 steals per game. He was named to the second team All Big East and declared his eligibility for the 2006 NBA Draft. The Memphis Grizzlies select Kyle Lowry of Villanova University. While Kyle had made it to the NBA, it would be three teams in nine years before he would become an all-star. Now let me tell you how he did that. Wait, wait, you want to know how to get tickets to see Kyle Lowry play? All right, I'll help you out. I know about an app called SeatGeek. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web to find the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now because you guys have all been amazing subscribers, truthfully, I got you 20 bucks back when you use the promo code FAMOUS. So definitely check that out. And uh, well, I'll go to a game with you. I mean, I'm in Toronto. Although if he leaves, maybe we'll go see something else. Like the Leafs. Anyway, let's get back to this bio. On July 9, 2006, Kyle signed a two-year rookie deal with the Memphis Grizzlies. At the time, the Grizzlies already had Damian Stoudemire as their starting point guard. But Kyle saw some court time in the team's opening game against the Knicks. After Damian had to leave the game early because of an injury, but after just 10 games, Kyle was injured himself, suffering a broken wrist on November 21, 2006. Kyle underwent surgery and recovered successfully, but it became pretty clear that his days with the Grizzlies, well, they were numbered. With the fourth overall pick in the 2007 NBA, the Grizzlies selected another point guard, Mark Connolly Jr. Since Kyle had been selected 24th overall, it seemed pretty clear that the Grizzlies would be committed to Mike as their starter. In a three-team deal involving the Orlando Magic, Kyle was traded to the Houston Rockets in his first season on that team. Kyle made it to the playoffs for the first time. The Rockets lost in seven games to the Lakers, who went on to win the NBA championship that year. Kyle stayed in Houston until 2012, developing as a player each and every year. His stats in each of his four seasons with the Rockets topped the last. He scored 7.6 points per game in the 2008 to 2009 season, 9.1 points per game the next year, then 13.5, and finally 14.3 for the 2011 and 2012 season. But while he was playing better than ever, Kyle clashed with Kevin McHale, who replaced Rick Edelman as head coach in the summer of 2011. After missing time because of a bacterial infection during the 2011 to 2012 season, backup point guard Goran Dragic did a very good job of filling his shoes. After that, the Rockets figured they'd have more to gain by trading Lowry than keeping him. With the Toronto Raptors, Kyle's career began to take off. After the Raptors' lead score was traded to the Sacramento Kings, Kyle and DeMar DeRozan teamed up to become the new faces of the team. In 2014, Kyle became the team's all-time leader in triple doubles. The next year, he became the second Raptor, after Chris Bosh, to be named the Eastern Conference Player of the Month and became an all-star for the first time, competing in both the Skills Challenge and NBA All-Star Game. Kyle would be named an all-star again in 2016 and 2017. And representing the Toronto Raptors, Kyle no, 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 no. Like why? He just gets better with age. At the time of this recording, his stats were better this year than ever before. He finished the 2016 to 2017 season with 22.4 points, 4.8 rebounds, and seven assists per game. Whew. As for the rest of the story, well, let's hope it continues on in Toronto. Or maybe it won't, and then I'll never go to another. Yeah, well, who, who, who am I kidding? My name is Michael Crutton, and thanks for watching Before They're Famous. See you guys in another video. Be sure to browse around. Check out our video on LeBron James or DeMar DeRozan. And uh, that's it for me. Chilling all Max and all relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside the school. One of a couple of guys. We're up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood.